Hello guys, welcome to the second session. In this session, we will learn what is machine learning and how it become popular nowadays. Machine learning is a subset of the artificial intelligence. It focuses mainly on machine learning from their experience and make the prediction based on its experience. It offers computers capability to learn and act like the human without the being explicitly programmed. Machine learning algorithm are used in a wide variety of the applications such as a computer vision, banking, market analysis, forecasting, natural language processing, agriculture, head domain, etc. Where it is a difficult or infeasible to develop a conventional algorithm for effectively performing the task. We know human learn from their past experience, where machine follow the instruction given by the human. But using machine learning, we can provide an algorithm that mimic human learning in the machine. Those program and algorithm are designed in a way that they learn and improve over the time when are exposed to the new data, so they can work like the human with the more accuracy. Let's understand how we learn as a human. If you want to buy the strawberry from the local store, then you visit it. For the first time, you don't have any idea which kind of strawberries are good. So you will pick up the uh, any of them. After your first watches, you come to know that strawberries having the uh, bright red color are fresh. So on the next day, when you go for purchasing, you will pick up the uh, bright red strawberries. Then you come to know that medium sized strawberry have the uh, more flavor and juices compared to the other. So on the next day, when you go for purchase, you will search for the bright red color as well as the medium sized strawberry. And now on the next day, instead of strawberry, you want to buy a pineapple. But here you cannot apply the things that you have learned for the strawberry. Even bright red pineapple sounds funny. You will learn something from the each experience and it will help you in the future decision. This is how we as a human learn from the experience. Machine will also mimic the human behavior. Here are a few examples of machine learning that you might use daily. Google or Here Map. We can find the fastest as well as the shortest route for navigation as well as identify the location from the images of a street. E-commerce sites like the Amazon provide a recommendation for the product. Using the computer vision, we can identify the person or object in the image. For example, Facebook display the auto-generated caption for the images. Using voice assistant like the Alexa, Cortana, Siri, or Google, they are using the natural language processing for understanding the user's query. Determine the sentiment of the user's comment or review. This is commonly used in the e-commerce site as well as on the Twitter. Outlook or Gmail use the algorithm to determine the spam or junk or malicious content. The banking sector uses the various algorithms to determine the fraud transaction based on the transaction location, amount, or other parameters. Uber's algorithm is one of the most popular algorithms. It will find the caps such that it costs less to the company based on the various parameters like the duration, distance, demand, etc. Online advertisement also uses this. If you have searched for something on your mobile device and open the Facebook on the desktop, then you might see the advertisement of the same product. You might hear of the Tesla self-driving car. It is also based on machine learning. Google or Bing Translator use the machine learning to determine the language that you have provided. Nowadays, Microsoft Team and Skype provide the transcription. Again, it's machine learning. Many companies use the machine learning to determine demand during a particular time based on the several parameters. There is a various kind of machine learning algorithm, such as a supervised learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, self-learning, future learning, sparse dictionary learning, and anomaly detection. From this list, supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement are a popular algorithm. Supervised learning algorithm. It builds a mathematical model of a set of data that contains the both input and the desired output. The supervised learning is accurate and very fast. The example of 
these algorithms include the classification, regression, and structure prediction. Unsupervised learning algorithm. It takes the set of data that contain only input and find the structure in the data like grouping or clustering of the data. It mainly using the pattern detection. The example of unsupervised learning include the k-means and a priori algorithm. Reinforcement learning algorithm. This algorithm uses the system of reward and punishment. We do not need the label input or output pairs. Reinforcement learning algorithm or agent learn by interacting with its environment. The agent receives the reward by performing the correct and get the penalties for the performing incorrectly. Safe driving car is an example of this algorithm. Because machine learning used in the lots of application, it's still in the starting era. Because machine learning is used in the lots of application, it become more popular nowadays. However, it's still in the starting era. All major cloud providers like Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud focuses on the machine learning. It's supported by the various programming languages like the Python, R, Java, C, C++, and JavaScript. With the introduction of the ML.NET, .NET also joined this list. There are various tools available for creating a highly efficient machine learning application with the ease, such as PyTorch, TensorFlow, Jupyter Notebooks, H2O. Some of them are free and some are paid. Stay tuned for the next session.